First of all, how are your kids? They're great. Yeah. They're great. I yeah. know they watch, so I can yes, say hi. Yes, they cause... love the show. Well, they uh, they're massive fans of that one over there. No. Oh. And and uh, and Sophia, Grace, and Rosie. Yes. Like, yeah, that's like a constant. Got to tell you, it's a disappointment for them every time they're not on every show. Just gonna let you know. Really? Yeah. They're still waiting for them to come back. <laughs> still waiting right. for them to come back. We are too. We'll find out when they're coming. <laughs> so, um, and last time you were here, you were talking about how well they got along. Are they still getting along? Mm. <laughs> they, the last time I was here, the little one was like a year and a half, mm -hmm. and the oldest was like five. And it was, I didn't realize this because I didn't grow up with siblings, so this is all new to me. Uh, but then it was like the older one would just say, let's do this, and the little one would be like, okay. <laughs> and so it was just a peaceful, beautiful, loving relationship that made me cry every single day. Now I cry, but not because it's peaceful and loving anymore. Oh, no. Well, because the one-year-old is now almost three, and she's like, no. The, yeah. the older one's like, what? What do you mean, no? I said, let's do this. Right. And so it's like war in our house every single day. Don't touch me. Don't look at me. I want to be alone. I was like, are they 13 already? Wow. Yeah. And May one says all of that with a lisp. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe that's, they're getting it out of the way now and they'll get along as they get older. I hope so. Maybe that's going to happen. Touching wood, I'm touching yeah. wood. Okay, uh, so, all right, let's talk about, we, we saw the clip just now, and Portia and I were watching it, and we're like, if that is uh, some kind of fat suit, they did an amazing job, but you actually gained 50 pounds for that. That was yeah, you. Close to 50 pounds, yeah. So, um, how come? <laughs> I mean, that must be, because that's hard to lose after you gain 50 pounds. It was brutal. You know, in retrospect, the film deals with, you know, what parenthood looks like today. And also, I think just how we, it's so insane to me that we live in a time where we share so much information. We share the medication that we take, whether it's through social media or whatever. But for some reason, when it comes to parenting, there's still so much stigma around it. And we just don't talk about a lot of stuff that parents go through. And so it's strange, like, I did this, yes, but mothers do this every single day. And they get pregnant, and they gain all that weight, and it takes them a year and a half to lose it. And if they don't, they get judged. And it, I feel like I had to do it for the film if I was going to go and play a mother who's, you know, having her third child. I just, I felt a responsibility to that. And I think for myself as an actor, I wanted to feel as much as I possibly could. But you had gained weight for Monster, right? Yeah. How much did you gain for that? I think less. Yeah. because yeah, I was younger, too. I was like 27 when I So it was I easier to lose afterwards. I just didn't snack for a week. And, and you I, lost weight. And I was back into shape. Yeah, it was insane. <laughs> yeah. And that doesn't happen anymore. No, no. no that I, makes me angry. I was like six <laughs> months. You had that at 22. You just don't maybe, remember. Yeah, maybe yeah. I did. Um, okay, so what did you what did you do? Did you just not work out and eat a lot of stuff? What did you eat? I ate a lot of everything, but my favorite thing, my my drug of choice is potato chips. So basically, you ate potato chips. Basically, all the time. I, everywhere. I had potato. I had a bag in my car, a bag in the bathroom a bag in the kitchen, a bag on the couch, a bag in my trailer. I just, everywhere I went, there was just a bag. Not, I, you're, the green room's trouble for me too. There's a lot of potato chips well, back yeah. there. Now, how was it to all of a sudden, I know we're saying it's harder as you get older to lose weight, yeah. but what did you do? Because that really is hard once you've been allowing yourself to eat anything to be disciplined like that. It's, you know, the, the hardest thing for me was I wasn't prepared for how that amount of processed food will affect your mood. Yeah. And I dealt with depression for the first time. Wow. And so what they say about, you know, what you eat is kind of who you are is so true. Yeah. Because I, I ate like a person who just didn't move, and I felt like that. And I yeah. was lethargic and tired all the time. And um, that was a hard thing to break because it's more mental than it is almost physical. Like, yeah. you can stop eating, but you feel, if you don't feel good about yourself or you don't feel like you can, then it's hard. Right, yeah. yeah. No, it, it really does make you depressed to, to have the wrong kinds of food in your body. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh,